We came here in 1996 and we did a first descent of the river. So in other words, nobody had ever rafted or ever been down this river before. So um, we were very excited about it. And because um, it's the Nile, I'd heard stories since I was very small about this river. And so the idea of coming here and rafting down these rapids was very exciting. Since a child, I've always been fascinated by the Nile. I saw the stories of the ancient Egyptians and the irrigation canals and read about the history of the river. And then when I came here to the other end of the river, uh, it, it, it was very exciting for me. And I thought that I needed to live a childhood dream, really, and that's to travel the length of the river. Um, but historically, it was always explored from the coast. So we started in Egypt, we started in the Mediterranean, and we travelled up the Nile for over 80 days, 6,718 kilometres. And we measured the river for the first time ever uh, from the river. And so at the end of that expedition, the source, the source of the Nile, Ascend the Nile expedition in um, 2006, we were able to come out and say, well, actually the Nile is 107 kilometres longer than what anybody ever thought. Because the only way they've ever been able to measure it before was to lay a piece of string along a map and to measure the piece of string. But because we travelled the entire length, we could use modern GPS technology and measure it very accurately. There were many, many challenges, but certainly the most difficult was when we were attacked by the Lord's Resistance Army in northern Uganda and my friend Steve was killed. Um, that was a very, very difficult time for us. The Lord's Resistance Army have really had no sort of agenda. It was basically a robbery, but they just opened fire on our vehicle with no warning and um, they took cash and um, a battery and a few clothing items. They cut the seat belt out of the car, but they have a reputation for not leaving people alive. And um, we were very lucky. We're very lucky to be here. So I think what's incredible to me about the Nile is that all this water travels such a great length to support Egypt. And you know, as the famous saying goes, Egypt is nothing without the Nile. And um, so I think that's the most amazing thing, the fact that you've got these desert areas and, and all these semi-desert areas that are uh, watered by the river and by the water from here. The river itself is uh, its one of the arteries of the planet. You know, the, the, the Nile brings life, not just to us and to the ancient Egyptian civilization and to the modern Egyptian civilization, but you look around you, the thousands of bird species, all the huge populations of animal, it keeps this part of Africa and everywhere it travels it keeps it alive. So it's a river of life.